Hi guys, welcome to Law City 3 years 2022 preparation. Whenever you are preparing for the entrance examination, motivation lagega. और टॉपर से बेस्ट मोटिवेशन कहीं भी नहीं मिलने वाला सो टॉपर के पॉडकास्ट टॉपर्स के वीडियो देखो एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे हैव प्रिपेयर्ड द एग्जाम हाउ दे हैव क्रैक्ड व्हाट आर द ऑब्स्टेकल दे केम अक्रॉस वाइल दे वर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन तो ये वाले वीडियो में टॉपर्स ज्यादा बोलेंगे मैं कम बोलने वाला हूं सो so, मैंने तो काफी स्ट्रेटजी प्लानिंग सब कुछ बता दी है सो so, थोड़ी टॉपर्स की भी सुन लो और दो जो आर टारगेटिंग फॉर 3 इयर्स एग्जामिनेशन implement the same in your preparation aur bhi toppers ke bahut sare podcast youtube pe available hai you can watch all the toppers podcast and do understand their strategy ideas and implement karo yaar bahut zyada important hai dekh to lete hain motivate to ho jate hain but jab padhne ki bari hoti hai jab implement karne ki bari hoti hai to hum skip kar dete hain to i suggest ki jab bhi aap podcast dekh rahe ho to book leke baitho aur notes banao ye wale pointers se kafi main impact hua because ye meri ek problem hai to aapki problem ka solution shayad isi पॉडकास्ट में मिल जाएंगे सो डू वॉच ऑल दी पॉडकास्ट खाली यूट्यूब पे आपको टाइप कर लो यार एम एच लॉ सिटी थ्री ईयर्स टॉपर पॉडकास्ट बाई मेन्यूअर एजुकेशन सारे पॉडकास्ट आ जाएंगे आपके और एड्स बिफोर वी प्रोसीड लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट दी बैचेस वी हैव लॉन्च बैचेस ऑनलाइन एंड क्लास रूम बोथ इफ यू आर मुंबई बेस्ड दादर बोरीली वसई यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट आर टीम फॉर द बैचेस क्लास को लेकर के एंड uh, अगर आप मुंबई बेस्ड नहीं हो आउटसाइड महाराष्ट्र आउटसाइड मुंबई हो तो देन यू कैन ज्वाइन एस फॉर दी ऑनलाइन लाइव प्रोग्राम ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ऑर्डर द बुक्स मॉक टेस्ट और द सेक्शनल जी के प्रोग्राम फुल कोर्स प्रोग्राम तो लॉग ऑन टू मेन वीडियो डॉट कॉम स्लैश लॉ इंटरन सबका डायरेक्ट लिंक मैंने डिस्कशन में दिया हुआ है काइंडली चेक वेन यू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन वेन यू हर्ड ऑफ ओके टू डू परस्यू लॉ यू हैव टू राइट दी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम एंड हैव यू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द एंट्रेंस uh it was actually i was on a very short leash i i wasn't really sure because it was a big leap to you know completely change the field from technical to legal right. and i wasn't sure whether my parents would let me and uh, even i i was not sure mentally if i wanted to do it hmm. so when it's come to the preparation looking at there are four section logic english gk and legal aptitude which section yeah. you enjoyed most and uh, which section you uh you were not comfortable with and what you have done for it i had a deep interest in uh, humanities like history geography and even science for that matter so gk was not a problem for me i would say the one thing which i struggled with a little bit was legal aptitude because that was a new subject for me that was not uh, in any of the previous uh, studies that i have done mm. so i would say that was a little tricky but i still uh, I, like covered that much Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, English is like R C grammar vocab all thing was sorted, right? Yeah, that was not a problem. Okay, so whatever you had prepared and when you read re- uh, written the real exam, what are the changes or the kind of a mistake you can say you have you think you have done in the exam? Uh, as in preparation wise as in preparation wise and when you were writing the exam some of the mistake we idly do we spend more time some time on a particular question or sometimes we uh, solve tough question first and you know and because of that we spend more time so any kind of a such mistake you have done in the real exam i uh, i wouldn't say i have but i would have done uh, had the paper had not been jumbled so i watched your videos before uh mm-hmm. you know you had you you put on these short stories and uh, where you told that the paper was going going the paper is going to be jumbled and be ready for that i believe the jumbled format is actually more convenient for me had it been section wise then i might have spent a little more time in the legal aptitude section because there is a humongous amount of information that needs to be you know analyzed before answering the particular question so uh, i wouldn't say a mistake was committed by me in the paper i was pretty uh, aware of the time management okay last question uh, as i asked this question to every everyone what tips or the suggestion you want to give to upcoming year aspirants those who are targeting for 2022 23 exams i actually have written down a few points in case yeah, yeah. i miss so yes, i yes. hope you don't mind yeah definitely go ahead the one thing which i would like the uh, the first thing which i would like to suggest to all the aspirants is stick to a strategy and only one strategy don't go ahead and watch a gazillion videos on youtube saying you know prepare this way prepare that way spend an hour or so or spend an entire day to formulate one strategy and then stick to it for at least 5 or 6 months so that's my first suggestion stick to only one strategy second suggestion would be use very limited sources don't go ahead and buy you know spend a fortune on buying so many reference books 
and uh, don't make you know, basically just, library like, at home <laughs> yeah yeah don't make a library at home because it's just an entrance examination make a library of the books which you will be using it in the law uh, in the course itself don't you entrance is a very you have to keep your sources really minimal hmm. but extensive revision is required jitna bhi aap pad rahe ho make sure that you go into the depth of it so question kaise bhi agar ghuma phira ke aata hai so still you will be able to answer them the third thing is solve pyqs and mocks the previous year questions and mock tests are the key to you know uh, eliminating the fear out of your mind of the for, for the entrance test um if if it hadn't been for uh, you know pyqs and mocks i would not have been able to score even 100 plus in this examination right and uh, i would also suggest ki identify your interest the paper has a wide matlab um, it has a wide area uh, there, there are, are many sections subjects. Mm-hmm. yeah there are four sections and four sections maybe especially if i talk about gk english is something you will have to work upon there's no alternative to that and i'll suggest for english you 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 make a reading of the hindu newspaper every day it's not that difficult to read a paper newspaper and it is something it's a good habit you'll you'll come to know about a lot of issues happening around you and it will subsequently it will uh, increase your english uh, vocabulary skills as well for gk i would suggest uh, key identify your strengths and work on that first and if time is remaining then go ahead and focus on the other subject right. apart from that uh, english improvement as i said is mandatory if the hindu uh, along with the hindu you know just to add to the recreation also and even study in the recreation period i would suggest you watch one episode of suits and you know such web series or you know movies which are related to law because certain terms certain um, legal magazines etc are used in these movies and it is better uh, if you remember it that way rather than mm. just you know mugging it up from a book right, and right. before starting all of this the, the final tip that i would like to give is before starting all of this just give a test uh, and see where you're standing because it's important to know where you're standing if you have to you know uh, climb all the way up to the top if you have to go to glc you have to check first of all then where you stand right now and accordingly plan your so, preparation so when you started your proper law cd preparation i think it was around uh, the end of march beginning of april mhm and then it just because of the pandemic the exam kept getting pushed back mm-hmm. and i think i very seriously uh, sort of sort of, sort of hustle towards cd from you could say june may or june yeah that's when i started putting in all, all the hours and Mm-hmm. Put your foot on the pedal. Okay. So, what are the hurdles came across while you started your preparation? Right. So the first one I think was because I'm an outside Maharashtra candidate and there's only ten percent seats available. So that definitely demotivates you to some extent mm-hmm. because the competition gets a lot tougher for you. And once I overcame that uh, sort of mental block, it was just uh, I believe because there's no previous year's papers available. Mm. so you sort of have to go through your instinct and whatever information you can find online so sort of streamlining it and filtering it out from the chatter mm-hmm. i think that was definitely one of them okay and yeah the huge chunks of current affairs and static gk you have to memorize mm mm-hmm. so that was the idea so let's talk about uh, section by section let's start with the gk only what you have done for the gk gk i um, to be on the safer side i did 10 to 11 months compendiums for gk revised gave tests i believe giving tests for gk helped a lot more in uh, memorizing right all those right facts and figures what was your experience with regards to the mock test the mock test uh, up until giving the mock test i still wasn't sure where i stood in terms mm-hmm. of my preparation mm-hmm. and readiness for the exam and mm-hmm. after giving up a couple of mock tests i settled into the rhythm, rhythm and i sort of got this mark range that yeah i can with the amount of preparation that i've done fall into say 115 to 120 range mm-hmm. and that definitely was a big boost to my confidence and time management all of that and you learn how to deal with pressure mm. because you're sitting there you know you have 2 hours and you have mm. to give it to your best mm. so yeah and then even with the jumbled pattern i was definitely nerve wracked when they suddenly changed the pattern mm. but then i solved the jumble mock test and i realized that it was not as hard as i expected it to be and mm. had i gone without giving a jumble mock test it definitely would have been difficult 
Correct, correct. All of a sudden, you see different pattern exactly. upon which you have already practiced. That is the old yeah. old one. Okay, last question, uh, Geetika, from uh, my side. That is the what tips or the session you want to give to all the upcoming year aspirant? Right. One thing I think that uh, we overlook is the importance of a support system around us. Mm-hmm. Be it our peers, be it mentors, teachers, whoever, to sort of filter out your information because there's so much available from all these different sources, be it on the internet, coaching institutions, someone who can just, you know, keep you on the path Hmm. and you don't get lost in all the conundrum. Right. So you need to be a little bit uh, clear about your syllabus part, about your roadmap, depression part. Yeah. And uh, whatever kind of a dilemma is there, you can ask from your mentors. Exactly. And And there's lots of moments in the between where you also feel demotivated. Obviously, so that helps again. Correct, correct. Uh, when it when it's come to CET preparation, what are the things, according to you, think required for your preparation? So I believe that in time bound exams, such as um, this CET entrance exam, it's very important to know certain tips and certain tricks, or you can say certain shortcuts to solve the paper. Say, say for example, in your logic questions, there are multiple ways to solve a question. But you need to know the fastest way to solve it so that you don't waste too much time solving a particular question. So I had actually enrolled in the CT Heist program, which was a 10-day program. And I think for that was like the game, the game changer for me personally, because it taught me simple ways, but very effective ways to attempt the paper. And in entrance exams, when you are competing on such a large scale, everybody is going to study the material. The material is the same for everybody. Everybody is obviously going to give their best. But these certain tricks that you use that can give you the edge over the other people, over the other candidates, were taught to me in this course, not only for logic, but even simple things like how to attempt a reading comprehension. A reading comprehension carries a good amount of marks. So if you can ace your reading comprehension, you automatically get the good, uh, like a good amount of marks. And in in you just need to read one paragraph and it's going to give you five or six marks. And uh, attempting um, questions such as um, using elimination theory or basically how to skim through the passage, how to, uh, there are there are certain typical question types that are asked. So knowing those, just being familiar with those question types and mentally preparing yourself to attempt those, that was a very big turning point in my preparation at least. So that really helped me. Apart from that, I believe that doing mocks has been a very big boost for me because the more mocks you do, the more it helps you to time yourself. You know where you are lacking. Analyzing the mocks basically helps you to identify your strengths or your weaknesses, not only subject wise, but also topic wise. Okay. So last question, which I ask uh, to all the uh, toppers. So from you also, uh, what tips or session you want to give to upcoming year aspirant, those who are planning to write next year or 2023, 24. Yeah. So firstly, uh, you should be well versed with the paper. When I say the paper, what are the subjects? What are the topics per subject? How many marks are allocated to each subject? What is the paper format? Like we got to know that this is jumbled. Your strategy for attempting the paper depends a lot on the paper format and the marks per subject. So you should be very well versed with this. Next, start preparing well in advance. Because the advantage that time can give you over other candidates is very often neglected. But when you start preparing well in advance, you get more time to revise. You get more time to go through things thoroughly. Mm -hmm. So time is a very big factor that you should consider. Then your revisions should be extensive, should be very, very thorough. Because that is the only way to ingrain topics in your brain. It's law is not a subject where you can rote learn. Like your concepts have to be clear. 
your revision needs to be very strong about so in uh, law entrance mhct law we have uh, four subjects which is english reasoning logical reasoning uh, gk current affairs and um, gk and current, and current affairs combined legal. and legal aptitude so with legal aptitude uh, through classes everything was taken care of because legal is one such subject which is new to everyone and um, uh, you will not find any material otherwise uh, outside so uh, that you can be relaxed with the tutorials the other three which is english reasoning and gk and current affairs um, that we need self -pre preparation so you need to give yourself um how much ever time you uh, it, it depends on you so in english basically what i did i started my day with the hindu so you have to give the hindu an hour of reading so the best strategy is that you start reading initially you will take 45 minutes you will take an hour you might take one hour 30 minutes just to read the uh, editorials and importantly you have to start noting down the words that you are coming across so the words will be um, It, it it is not so that when you start to with your reading in just 15 days you will be pro and understand you will understand all the words and you need to give your hard effort your um, reading your time to it so um, yes it is all about your dedication towards your subjects towards this entrance apart from the hindu reasoning also requires a lot of practice the teaching part will be taken care of by uh, minova last time we did people ask many questions regarding number of hours preparation how many hours we need to prepare so all these kind of a question answer uh, will be given by the milin and i decided to uh, try my career in law now and therefore um i aimed the glc that was my only goal like from beginning i just focused on glc and even my i just put one preference college in my preference list i did not put any other college i just wanted to i was very sure that i only want to go to glc and finally the target is achieved he is in glc and uh, rank as i told you 88 rank uh, and so like my only goal was glc so uh, basically milin is from our dada center so dada runs three days matches used to happening so he is basically offline student Let's talk about section to section by section uh logic gk english and legal out of these four section this section you find yourself not comfortable about tough section hai uh i would say logic mm -hmm. uh, because like it requires practice even if you are uh, good at analytical uh, if your analytical ability is good if you are out of practice mm -hmm. then you might not be performing uh, not be performing very well mm -hmm. but even in that section i did not like prepare everything Mm. I focused myself like I was good at traditional logic uh, and like of course puzzles in CET are very difficult. Mm. So I knew from the beginning that if I solve all the puzzles in the world, so I first completed traditional logic. So let let secure your marks like ten fifteen marks there, and then as and when you progress with the preparation, I solved and basically in puzzles I was thought mainly about the template the, which is very important mm. to tackle the puzzle even if you don't if you don't solve all the puzzles you should know the templates the uh, how the, to arrange how the data to, uh, uh, arrange the data that is very important for solving puzzles so i completely left the puzzles to be dealt uh, at the exam mm -hmm. and mostly i uh, did the traditional logic stuff and i think most of um, the questions were on similar lines which all right so i hope you must be watching all the podcasts and uh, once again i request to implement karna important hai problem ye hoti hai hum dekh to lete hai but implement nahi karte hai to wo nahi karna and keep your motivation high march chal raha hai aapka exam mostly june mein ho jana chahiye so deadline apne paas 3 mahine ki hai so do prepare well for the examination so that we can either top in the exam ya to fir main at least 120 plus ka score hit karu in ct 2022 and end up with the glc mumbai or ils pune colleges so 2022 and 23 both the batches we have launched you can contact our team on the respective number also if you want call back from our team so free counseling google form ka link maine description mein diya hua hai fill your details our team will call you back and they give you the brief information with regards to the batches
एंड यू आर डू सब्सक्राइब सेपरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज़ स्पेसिफिक टू लॉ मैनुअल लॉ एंट्रेंस यहाँ पे लॉ के स्पेसिफिक ही आपको वीडियोस मिलेंगे तो इसको सब्सक्राइब कर लो एंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेलीग्राम ज्वाइन कर लो यार यहाँ पे आपको जीके के अपडेट उसके बाद क्विजेस होते हैं एग्जाम अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन ये सारी चीज़ें यहाँ पे मिलेंगे टेलीग्राम तो इसका लिंक इंस्टाग्राम का लिंक फेसबुक का लिंक सबका मैंने डिस्कशन में दिया हो वहाँ पर कनेक्ट हो जाओ सो दैट आपकी प्रिपरेशन भी होती रहेगी और आप अपडेटेड भी रहोगे कि क्या चल रहा है एग्जाम्स को लेकर के फॉर्म फिलिंग को लेकर एग्जाम के डिटेल्स को लेकर राइट and those who want to join us for the online program uska bhi link maine description mein diya hua hai so kindly check the description all the very best thank you